It's a show that really comes at you. Yes, that's right. It's time for the studio update. Latest in body piercing news and tattoos of the week from Wesley and Jack. So stick around. <laughs> What's up, gang? Wesley with my Tattoo of the Week. Um, this week's tattoo was this guy, Chris. Um, first time I've ever worked on him. He was just kind of a walking guy, but pretty fun piece. He is um, ex-Marine, ex-Army. He did a bunch of years of military service and just kind of wanted something to commemorate his time. So right down the side of his leg, he wanted to make sure he was wearing his dress blues for the rest of his life and brought me in a kind of a cool reference picture. So I just drew my own version. We just kind of drew two straight lines down the side of his leg and then kind of rippled them up a little bit so it looked like a little bit more, you know, rumpled fabric and then hand drew in a bunch of tears and then just packed all the color in. So, you know, as far as techniques were concerned, it's a pretty simple piece, but I had a lot of fun doing it. It looks really cool on him. Um, and I think uh, a lot of the people close around me um, that got to see it ahead of time got a really I got a really good reaction from it too so he really liked it I really liked it I think it was a really fun piece to work on I would love to do more full body kind of sized pieces like that that kind of you know flow with the body a little bit so um, yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed that so next up so I think Davo to talk to you about some piercings on Jack so thanks for checking my tattoo out and we'll check with you next week have a good week guys whatever Davo here with the body piercing news of the week had a busy week, enjoyed myself, put up a lot of videos, pierced a lot of people, and did those things that I enjoy doing that makes life worthwhile. I hope that you are doing the same. Um, as far as changes to the channel and content and so forth, we just upgraded our audio. Um, I hope uh, it sounds better now. Feel free to make a comment. Um, we're now using independent audio with a decent shotgun mic. Um, coming up next, we're going to have a second camera coming in, another Canon camera that comes on Monday. So maybe some more two, two camera shoots and some better quality video for you, the people we love, our audience out there on YouTube. Speaking of which, on Saturday, posted the latest in pros and cons by a piercer. Me. I'm a piercer. My mom's proud. Well, she was. Um, this episode we covered, I covered tongue piercings. If you haven't seen one of those, I go through five advantages, five disadvantages of that particular piercing and give you uh, enough information to make an educated decision on whether or not that piercing is right for you. On, um, Sunday, we posted the latest episode of Q&A in the Kitchen, episode number 20. This one, uh, we covered tattooing over scars and dark pigment. Um, great conversation between Wes, Jack, and myself. If you haven't uh, checked that out, go ahead and do so. Speaking of which, on Sunday we'll be posting the pa the podcast. The Pat, why do I have problems with podcasts? I don't understand that. I mean, it's not like a word I haven't used. <sighs> anyway, um, on Sunday we'll be posting the podcast edition of that. Look for that to come up around five o'clock um, on Sunday. It'll be on this channel and also wherever podcasts live and enjoy themselves in frolic. Um, yesterday posted the latest in the body piercing basics. This episode I covered acrylic jewelry, kind of a buyer's guide. Is it safe? Is it not safe? And my feelings on that. Uh, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description along with all the other videos. Tomorrow, look for um, the latest episode in Pros and Cons by a Piercer. I'm going to be doing one on cheek piercings. I'm really struggling with finding advantages to that particular piercing. So check that out and laugh along with us. Another thing we got coming up, and I'm still in, is still in the works, is we will soon have t-shirts available, not only including the normal Skin Kitchen tattoo t-shirts, but also ones made especially for this channel, the Axiom, in the internet. I'll be, uh, it'll be uh, 
posting the shop here soon. Um, gives you a lot of design possibilities, including uh, Q&A in the Kitchens logo and a few other ones that you can then order and put on t-shirts, mugs, and all kinds of other fun stuff. So look for that coming up soon. That's it for me. Till next time, have a good day. Hope all your piercings heal with ease and without issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see if your piercing needs in the future. Hello, crazy tattoo fans and crazy tattoo land. It's that time once again to look at a picture of a tattoo that I did and and then click a button after you see it. It's pretty easy. Uh, anyway, it's a kind of a rework cover up kind of deal. Uh, he had uh, a former uh, tattoo on his chest that was kind of meh and wanted to uh, finish it off and kind of just clean it up, make it look as good as we could. So what I did is kind of used what he had and used a little uh, something of what he didn't had and uh, came up with this. We're not quite done. There's still some stuff I want to do in the uh, in the tube of paint squirting down there and all, and some tightening up, but uh, we got some really good headway on it, and I thought it was at least interesting enough to look at at this point. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, I think I worked on it four hours or so. Um, he sat really well, and I think it went really good. Uh, so um, hope you liked looking at it. Uh, there's still, I probably still maybe even have little nooks and crannies of time in July open. So if you're wanting to sneak in or at least get in for a consult to get some ideas flowing, uh, now's a good time to do that. You'll, I've still got time to get in in this, you know, in the heart of the summer. Um, but also remember if you're looking, uh, if you're one of those collectors that likes to kind of wait towards the colder months to where you don't have to mess with the sun as much, um, it's not a bad idea to get the ball rolling now too, uh, to come in and kind of get those times for early fall because those will book up because there's a lot of you people like that out there and they kind of all hit at once. So remember that and uh, don't forget to check out the website. We're always adding new content and stuff. Our podcast with our Q&A in the kitchen is really awesome and fun. It's a neat way to kind of keep informed and uh, listen to us chit chat while you're driving in the car or something to kill time or sitting at work. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you enjoyed the video this week and we will see you for the next one. Was I wrong? Was that not the most exciting thing that comes out of Des Moines? Or at least today? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know your life. I don't know what you do for fun. You know, you might be a jet fighter. Or you might be a, a jet fighter pilot. You might be a, a professional jet skier. Or a, I don't know, sewage treatment plant worker. So that could be exciting. I mean, every job has its little level of excitement. It really depends on what you're into. That's irrelevant. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like. Let us know that you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that come out on this channel, hit the uh, hit that subscribe button so you're in the know. Hit the notification bell so then you'll be notified when we post new content. If you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, go ahead and go over to the event page for Cookout at the Kitchen, which is going to be happening on August 25th. We're going to have food, live music by Fort Defiance, and um, a live taping of Q&A in the kitchen. So you can come in person and ask a question to our panel of body piercing and tattooing experts. I guess that's what we're calling ourselves today. Um, <laughs> so uh, the link is in the description. Also, if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, of course, we hope to see you for your tattooing and body piercing needs in the future. Thank you.